Yo, how's it going, guys? It's Richie Unicorn Call here, and we got a few things to talk about for both Wizard 101 and Pyro 101. So, buckle up, and happy belated 4th of July. Hopefully, you guys had a good little 4th of July weekend. Alright, coming up here, we have a 50% off the first month of membership. So, now, if you're becoming a member for the very first time, it will only cost you 5 bucks for the first month, basically. And I tried doing this, because back in the day, you know, you could always do this, but I tried doing it again, and it looks like it wouldn't let me, so I don't know if they patched it to where it has to be, like, your very, very first time purchasing a Wizard 101 membership. Um, but I can purchase a um, Pirate 101 membership for 5 bucks. However, I'm not doing that because I am broke. <laughs> but yes, there is a little uh, membership thing going on. And this will end through July 7th. So first time for a membership, definitely try it out. Highly would recommend it. This is actually one of my favorite deals that they have on the game. And then moving on along the news, we got Beast Moon Hunt, the heap map, all the way through July 5th through July 11th. And it is finally the heat map. Dude, it has been like probably... Yeah, it's been like a month. It's been very overdue for this map. And so uh, I am super excited to play this map. I hope Anton manages to uh, make, um, hopefully get a chance to play this. Because I know he's super excited to play this, but I know he might be busy. But um, yes, the uh, Beast Moon Hunt map heap is available all the way through July 5th. And July 11th, I'm definitely going to be trying it out. Might make a Beast Moon Hunt video. I haven't made one in a while, so... Definitely might make a video. The Atlantean bundle is also being brought back. This is all the way through July 11. I actually have, I think, one of the gears, I believe, that has a lot of outgoing and a little bit of resist. I believe I have one of, like, the helmets or something like that. And I, I'll show you once um, I get done this video. But, yeah, you can get a bunch of stuff as any other type of bundle. 5,000 crowns or a month of membership. So, yeah, throwback bundle. Definitely check it out. And then we got some news for Pyro 101 on the Twitter sphere. So, over here, it looks like Pyro 101 players are going to be getting a new Star Belly Groper pet. So, pretty cool stuff. Or Grouper, Grouper, however you pronounce that. I believe it's Grouper, but... Um, yeah, it's a fish pet. <laughs> there you go. You get a new fish pet. I don't know how much it's going to cost, but, um, yeah, there you go. And then, for Wizard 101, we also get a new pet. Over here, we get this gorgeous, the new Dazzle Feather pet is now available in the crown shop. This is probably one of the very first peacock pets that we've had in Wizard 101, at least from what I remember. Right, we've had flamingos, we've had giraffes, and we have a bunch of other exotic animals and stuff like that. But yeah, I I've never seen a peacock pet in Wizard, so um, this is awesome. We're definitely gonna check out the uh, crown shop so we can show you all the prices and stuff like that. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Again, I hope you guys have had a good weekend. So let's go into the crown shop. Let's get it over with. Again, we got a few things that are available in the crown shop. We talked about the prismatic cat. This is available for 7,500 crowns, as you can see. Gorgeous rainbow colors, or little tie-dye colors, actually. I actually like that. And then, we have the Dazzle Feather Pet. And we gotta wait for this pet to load in, because, again, this is, like, the first time I've personally, like, seen a peacock pet in the game. Wow, that is actually... That is gorgeous! Wow! Look at that! Oh! <laughs> That's really good. Oh my gosh. Wow, that is actually a really gorgeous pet. Now, let me look at the stats. I know everybody's always talking about, you know, what type of school is it? I'm not really sure what type of school this pet would be. But as you can see, um, here are the stats right here. And for the spell card, it looks like it gives a ice prism. So maybe I'm assuming this might be a ice pet of some sort. I'm not so sure. But, yeah, these are the uh, stats right here. If you just wanted to read that, I don't know what that will do. But, yeah, this is pretty interesting. This is a cute pet. You know, I was tempted to actually buy this pet, but this pet costs 6,500 crowns, right? And in order to get that, like, numeric value, that means I would have to spend the $25 option of getting, like, 13,750 crowns, which... 
Oh no, do I really want to spend $25 on this gorgeous pet? Probably not, but maybe one day along the lines, if I have some spare crowns, I'll definitely try it out. But if you are a pet collector and you already have this pet, definitely make sure that you're lending to the community, right? Because I've been lending pets for um, a long time, and it just feels good to give people all these awesome pets that they never could have, especially in the crown shop, where the crown shop is just super expensive, and not everybody can have the luxury of lending or donating pets. So definitely make sure you're lending pets to people, y'all. You know, help out the community because this pet is gorgeous and I'm not spending, mm, I, mm, mm. I'm not spending $25, that's too much. That's insane, I, I ain't doing that. Maybe if they added more crown amounts, like more like crown available options, that would be fine. Maybe I spend like maybe 20 or 15, maybe 10. I, I don't know, $25? A little bit too much for me. But if I do see someone with a pet, I'll try and ask for a lend, and then if I get the pet somehow, I will lend it to everybody else in the community. I love lending pets. Lending pets is nice. All right, moving on from that, that is pretty much it for all the news, guys. It's a short news day. Again, that's pretty much it. And again, Beast Moon Hunt is available. I also want to talk about something because apparently some people have this little scroll of Fortune Bug, which I believe has been in the game like since the start. Like, I believe this is kind of like a recurring issue because I remember this happening to me. But um, basically, when you accumulate points um, from some of these events, some of the points actually won't go into the Scroll of Fortune itself. Like your Scroll of Fortune points are usually paused or you're not getting any more points anymore. And so I think one solution or at least one tip I could recommend is to just fully log out. So just go into your spell book, just quit. And then just exit the game, just close the application, and then re-log back in. And then when you re-log back in, go back to your character and see if that helps out. Because I know this happens quite a bunch, you know, Wizard 101 is filled with, I'm sure, a bunch of bugs and glitches and stuff like that. I'm sure it's filled with it. But, um, yeah, I would just recommend just logging back out and in, you know, just see if that fixes the issue. And then see if you'll, um, obtain points. Yeah, I think we've seen this happen before. I really do think we've seen this happen before. But, yeah, that's it for the news. That's it. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. And, again, like I said, if I ever do somehow miraculously get that pet, uh, I'll try and level it up and uh, see if I can lend it to all you guys. That would be awesome, though. It's a gorgeous pet. It's probably one of my favorite pets, even though I haven't gotten it. Because we haven't gotten a peacock pet in Wizard 101 in forever, right? That's crazy. But, all right, that's it for the news. That's it. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'm going to go get the kids dressed up and get the day started. And, um, yeah, I will see you guys later. And thanks for watching, and peace out.